What up, y'all? It's your boy, Is Sir, back in the building with another bang. Anyway, this basically just is a kind of a tip video for you guys who, or, or kids who don't want to, you know what I'm saying, or girls, for that matter, who don't want to spend cash, you know what I'm saying, a lot of cash on a memory card for your Xbox or for your PlayStation 5 or Xbox S. Um, series, X series, whatever the case may be, this should work all the way around, anyway, I'm gonna teach you guys how to, so, base. let me just give you a little background on this, first of all, anyway, this, I got this at my local Walmart for only, like, 40 bucks, now, you know, the price tag on the new memory cards for the Xbox uh, S's, um, are just crazy, they're going, like, $200, I mean, to be honest with you, you might as well just go out and grab an Xbox X series at that point, anyway, um, but I'm going to teach you guys. See, I have my Xbox one right there. I got my Xbox S right, S series right there. And we're basically going to show I'm basically gonna show you guys how to do the storage thing. Okay. So, right there I have it hooked up. I already basically, I already basically did everything. And I'm like not going to redo it because it's just annoying. So, I'm not going to redo it. But I'm going to show you how to do it. And, then, and I can show you how to do it from this Xbox and moving it to to that um, memory card. So it's very simple, honestly. All you gotta do is once you want, I would recommend turning off your Xbox before you plug in the memory card, just in case. Anyway, I plugged it in right there, as you can see right there. And all you basically gotta do is once you turn on your Xbox, wait for it to fully go. Um, go to your your apps and games. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to go to your apps and games. It's just, you know, if you don't, I mean, I don't, don't know how uh, you're on Xbox anyway, or on playing games. If you don't know how to go to your games anyway, but this is how you do it. So you go right here to manage. Once you go to manage, go to storage devices, storage devices, and you can see right here, got my memory right here. This is a storage device. It's a giga. It's a um. A terabyte one terabyte and then this is my s series so let's look at all the games i have on just push a on it and then it give you contents and then basically that shows you all the games that i have downloaded on there um and 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 do, i don't know if this is going to work with xbox series games or playstation 5 games if, but if you're downloading it might work for playstation 5 because playstation 5 is a little more savvy when it comes to computer tech uh just a little bit more like universal i mean um but xbox they want you to buy their own brand i mean you know they want you to buy their own memory cards you know that's good. but this is still it's still made by the same person i mean company so whatever anyway and to be quite honest i let's go look at my memory on this series. We'll see view contents. You see, I only have three of them on there, right? There's only three games downloaded on my Xbox X series. But watch this. Once you go to my games, it says I have eight on there. Hmm. Okay. So basically, what you're gonna want to do to do that is you're gonna, like I said, you go to storage devices. I was just basically showing you how to do it, and once you, once you, alright, so once you basically, you gotta turn this into a kind of like an Xbox format, it'll tell you right away as soon as you plug it in, just say yes to it, and it turns it automatically into an Xbox format where you only can play on Xbox games, or on, on an Xbox system, so that's, it's it literally as soon as you plug in your Xbox, as soon as you turn it on, it says it notices that there's a PC memory card or a hard drive, external hard drive in there, and it's trying to basically kind of just tell what it is, and it tells you right away, and you just push yes on it. Now, how do you, how do you, like move these? You basically all you gotta do is go to. Let's keep just going. Mm -hmm. Ah, my bad. Doing this on my phone. Just a real quick video for you guys. Actually, I think if you just go to your... If you go to your games, 
and just push start on them. It should tell you to manage, and you can just move them from there. Yeah. And you can just move them right from there. Push and start, manage. Yeah. See, look at You can just move or copy. You never want to copy. You always just want to move. So you just go to move. Click that. I'm not going to click because I already did it. But you click that, and then it, 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 it allow you to move it to whatever, to whatever that device. And then um, when you want to switch it, you just basically do that for every every one of these. Pretty much all the games that are in your thing, you just do that. Um, yeah, and that's how you move them from external. That's how you move it from your Xbox One to external hard drive to your S series. Sorry for the mess. Anyway, thanks guys. Peace. I'm out.